ladies and gentlemen, and now introducing the eighth wonder of cell physiology, Dr. Jossie! Hi, my name is Dr. Josh Singer, and I'm here with the first year medical school class. And the topic of today's class is ions, ion channels who have lost their potential. Um, today, my first guests are Mr. Calcium Channel and Ms. Calcium Ion. <laughs> you all have been together since, well, since the beginning of time, and I just wanted to ask you, Ms. Calcium Ion, how do you feel the relationship is going? Well, I don't know. Like, we had a few fights or whatever, but like, I think it's going all right. So I just want to know why I'm here. Mr. Calcium Channel, I, you may have a different perspective on this. What, what's going on here? Well, let me just say, Mr. Dr. Singh, now, when calcium first started coming through my channel, we were making action potentials at even the slightest of stimulation. But now, the magic is gone. It's just sad. Uh, not only are we not making action potentials, but we are not even making little bitty mini end plate potentials. Oh. oh, yeah? Yeah? Well, maybe we wouldn't have so much trouble making action potentials if your resting membrane potential weren't so low. <laughs> Well, our next guest uh, might start to explain a little bit the root of this problem. I'd like to bring out magnesium. Calcium channel, I have to interrupt here. This is, this is, this is mayhem. I, I don't understand. You and calcium have been together since the beginning of time. You're willing to give this entire relationship up for the sake of a little channel plugging? Could you explain yourself? Now, hold on, Dr. Singh. Now, calcium and I have been together for a long time, and it's always the same thing. Contract, contract, contract. An old boy just wants to sit back and relax. That's why magnesium, keep mine on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah? Well, I got someone else on the side, too. Oh. Well, I guess we better bring him out, too. Ready, Mr. Squid Axon? Well, let's go.
it seems as if the squid axon is not a very popular member of this class today. Uh, and there seem to be some questions in the audience. Colby? Dr. Singer, this just isn't fair. What's his problem? He keeps messing up our problem sets. I just don't get it. It's not fair! Yeah. Paul, you have a question back here. Listen, you goddamn squid axon. You've been f***ing up our problem sets the whole time I've been here. Yeah. I'm f***ing internal marginal because of your ass. Yeah. What the f*** is your deal? We certainly have a very complicated situation upon our hands here. Uh, I think the only thing left to do is to, to call out our next guest, who may be able to solve all these problems for us. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce uh, Dr. John Walsh. Thank you, Joshua. Each of you has played a part in this fiasco, and now, now it's time to take responsibility for your actions. Calcium channel, you need to you need to decide which ion is the, has the greatest potential for you, and continue making action potentials for the rest of your life. Mr. Squid Axon, you are despicable. You need to clean up your act and turn yourself around. And as for you, magnesium. Today we've learned that uh, ions and ion channels can't always reach that delicate balance we like to call equilibrium. If you would like to further understand the flow of ions in and out of an inside-out squid axon, I would like to refer you to the 12-page handout that is referenced under the appendix. So please feel free to check that out. Uh, also, please tune in next time for our next show, which is entitled, My Daughter is in an Ethics Gang. Thank you very much. This is Joshua Singer.
about now, funk soul brother. Right about now, funk soul brother. Check it out. Right about now, Funk Soul Brother, check it out.